Hello everybody, I'm Opaque Fleek. You can follow me on Twitter at Opaque Fleek. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Hearts R. Let's get straight to the point and work with the Soma. Yellow skills. Great hybrid skills with Ines, just like Gaul and his red hybrid skills. These two in particular are amazing, but I can't focus on that yet. Downer. Amazing skill. Increases the length of the time for which enemies are knocked down by 1.5 times. It can also get downer 2, or you can get downer 2, assuming you have enough points. Well, I mean, once the next superior gauge unlocks 16. And then you got these guys. I'll get back to that in a bit. This tree sucks. You don't get... You don't really benefit a lot from other than auto-attacking, but you, you don't really auto-attack a lot in this game as much as you use arts. At least I think so, especially with uh, Ines. This skill's alright, you slap him, you know, with your blade. This skill is horrible. It's slow and weak. Not really good for her. Don't work on this tree unless you want more HP and physical attack. I already talked about you. Uh, you become useless later on after downer. I mean, if you want downer too, sure, but... I would rather get a uh, downer and then just stop there. If you want, you get unflappable. Up to you. This skill tree or spirit gauge tree, blue color, whatever, is actually really good once you get a little bit past 12. These attacks aren't that bad. Um, Ballet du Dauphin, I confuse it with the next skill we're going to be getting. Here, Talon de la Reine is Ines' counterattack when we fought her in the boss battle. It sucks. I don't really don't like it that much. I mean, I like to stay on the ground, and the only time I'm in the air is when I need to be in the air, and that's with uh, Chase Links. However, it is pretty good to reset yourself back to the ground as fast as you can. Scratch, this, scratch Serene. Scratch Serene knocks an enemy into the air with the knee strike and smash into the floor. We've seen it before. It's pretty much this attack with the slap to the ground. I'm only going to work on this because everyone needs to get their red to level 16 as fast as they can. Counter Chase, I can't learn it yet because I decided to put the points into metal for a uh, uh, downer. But I get Cirque du, F Cirque du Dauphin, and that was a skill I mixed up with with Ballet du Dauphin. And it's actually a good uh, attack, but you really want Counter Chase, especially at endgame. Or even as soon as you can, if not just for Inez, but whoever she can share with. But Inez, if you control her and you have this, you will destroy bosses with Counter Chase. Of course, that's not what I made me for, but yeah. Alright, I should have done this before I loaded the file, but that's cool, man. That's cool. So check this out. I'm gonna try my best not to use Hisui again. Because the upcoming area is not that bad, but uh, it could be rough. I mean, I got Kohaku. She can heal. I'm good. Aphrodite. Because that shit's gonna destroy. And since I'm controlling Gaul, we don't need that that much. I think... When was the next good one? What was your next good alternative? You have a lot of HP, but... Uh, oops, forgot her accessory. Let's give her the... Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where are you? Work on that. And Berserker for you. Berserker is just a great... Title. It even has wind resistance. And then... I don't need to set her arts, but in case I control her, I might do that later on. I'm gonna make Kohaku a straight up caster. She's only gonna heal, and that's it. For her, I really need to get her uh, healing circle up, and it's not that far off. I should probably be able to get it by the time I finish this dungeon. If not, you know, I'll just bring in a uh, Hisui, big bro. Anyways, let's move on to, uh, well, we gotta get to another port. Well, I gotta get to another port. So let's do that. Man, I'm really glad I bought a bunch of Sacrosan bottles. That and, you know, loading files, because you gotta make sure you don't fuck up when you do Let's Plays. You know, missing out on content and whatnot. Alright, Sacrosan. Sacrosan. So, over here at Pendelik Southport, where I just left it, it's pretty much next to Hansalar. Hansalar we have to get to to exchange the Foxtail and it's some other stuff. And if you recall, there was a briefcase here and no one was strong enough to open it. However, we have the strongest woman in the world, Hercules. I don't believe it. It's... What? Do you recognize this briefcase or something? Yes, it's mine. It's a secure case of the things that I left back at Lindator Garrison. Who would have thought it would wash up here? It must have really been thrown about. 
The lock's broken by the look of it. I think we're gonna have to pry it open. Uh, yeah! There. Is that your Spec Ops uniform? Yes. Wow, it's been a long time. I still remember wearing this when I first joined the Colonel's unit. You mean... Yes, Colonel Silver. Back then, I was desperate to live up to his expectations of me. The more missions I managed to complete successfully, the more he praised me. Ah, I was so happy. Are you okay there, Ines? What's this? You're not worried about me, are you? Sure we are, right, Kor? Yeah, of course. We're a team, right? We look out for each other. Haha, <laughs> well thank you. Anyway, that's enough reminiscing for one day. Time to move on. Okay, let's go. Spec Ops uniform, Enos' outfit from Spec Ops days brings back a lot of memories. And the Spec Ops mask, the accessory. Mask through which the cold eyes of Emperor Maximus' special forces once glinted. Alright, I'll see you at Hanselar. Alright, let's switch in that box tail for my accessory. At least, I think it was an accessory. It looked like one. Alright. Fox tail. That's okay, it's an uh, accessory. Made from a fox's lucky appendage, restores all the wearer's TP. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Just have someone resurrect if you want. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it. Just kill him and then resurrect. Kill him, resurrect. Free TP! Except for the resurrector. Oops. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Akora! You look busy! Yes. I'm arranging for food and medical supplies to be delivered to all kinds of far-flung islands. Problem is, the seas are extremely rough in those parts of the time of the year, so it's impossible to set sail safely. In times like these, I wish I could just make deliveries by hair. But I suppose that's something about fools, Aaron. What about using an airship? We met a guy named Amethyst who owns one, so maybe you could find one on your own. Airship? Amethyst? I... Uh, uh, my head... Are you okay, Coral? Yes, it's just... This will sound odd, but I have no memory of my past, and sometimes it gives me terrible headaches. What do you mean you ain't got no memory of your past? I just don't. The earliest thing I recall about my life was Akko finding me adrift in the ocean. I had no idea who I was or where I may have come from. But Guildmaster Marine didn't care. He took me in, gave me a job, and decided to call me Coral. Oh no! Look at the time! I'm going to miss the guild meeting if I don't hurry. Please excuse me. I should have known only an amnesiac would take a job as the guildmaster's secretary. I wonder if there's a connection between Koro and Amethyst. Who cares? We ain't got no time to run around trying to help folks figure out their family tree. And besides, that guy sold us out to the army. I don't want to do anything that might help him. Yeah, but Koro's been really good to us. If we happen by Lion Park, maybe we could mention it to Amethyst and see if he knows something. I think the game wants me to go see Amethyst. Alright, so I'm gonna go do the church skits and I'll see you at... I think it was Obis Westport or Marquis Westport that left us where I need to go.
風邪かなならもう休みましょうかベリル今日はお風呂入っちゃダメよええー、それは嫌だよ汗かいてるしベタベタだしじゃあ拭いてあげるよベリル脱いで待っててえこ琥珀琥珀も大胆ねさすがに人前で脱ぐなんてちょっと恥ずかしいよあら今更じゃないもうベリル脱いでてって言ったのにあああのさ琥珀僕今日はお風呂我慢するよ遠慮しないであったかいタオルも持ってきたしねででもほらほらすごい光景ねこれですっきり寝られるねベリルあうんありがとうそれとはい私特製の味噌おかゆ味噌が山盛りうん風邪をひいた時はこれがおすすめなんだよああはははあぼく食欲ないから遠慮するねそんなこと言わず一口だけでもすっごい効くんだよ私明日の進路についてちょっと相談してくるわね裏切れ者はいあーあ、あー、これえベリル、大丈夫そんなに体調が悪かったなんて、もっと早く気づいてあげればよかった。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Hair. Are you sleeping, beauty? Well, um, I suppose she might have been based on me. Aren't you scared of me, child? Of course not. I've been super worried about you forever. Have your bad dreams stopped? In a matter of speaking. But this is no time for dreams. It's time to stand up and fight the man with scarlet hair. Yay! You're gonna fight the meanie! Go get him, Sleeping Beauty! Oh, wait, hold on a second. I have something to help you. And I know your hair's totally heavy, but you can't let it slow you down, or else he'll beat you. My hair is heavy? It's okay. That man told me about it. He said you slept all the time because your emerald hair made you super fat. Oh, he did, did he? Uh huh, hey, whoa, hold on! I'm being misquoted here! Well, I may be a bit overweight, but at least I have fashion sense! Um. Good for you? Fatty? I don't know. <laughs> One thing I love about this costume is if you pay attention to Ines' chest, it's very, very jiggly compared to her other costumes. <laughs> It's the guys who got that traveling salesman to teach me some of his business tricks. I gotta thank you, Foss, for that. He gave me the best secret in the world. Oh, what's that? Hehe, <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a smile. So, this king of birds lives in the Lagos caves, huh? Well, if you think my boat can help flush him out, be my guest. Follow the river straight upstream and it'll take you to the caves. 
Just watch that current. If you ain't careful, it might sweep the boat out to sea. Mister! Hey, mister! Can I go on the duck boat again? Please? Well, if it ain't my best customer, how you doing today, son? Who's this? He's been coming around recently. Kid's my best and only customer. Yeah, but today I brought friends. See, guys? He's not scary. He's really nice. Did all you tanks come here just to ride my duck boat? <laughs> oh, that's just swell. <laughs> it's a bad old world these days. What with monsters and such. But I'm just gonna keep paddling. And do it with a smile. Hehe, <laughs> your face is funny. You aren't scary at all. I've been wanting to go on this duck boat for forever! I like this plan. From now on, I'm gonna have a smile on my face. You guys will be smiling a lot more once Ines takes her clothes off, but I'm just saying, that's Ines, you know? <laughs> Bussiness McGee, lying about her bus size. So I like how the game just teleports us here straight off, but from here on out, it's nothing but battles and then the boss battle. I don't think you fight on the boat, but you can fight once you get off the boat. Honestly, I thought this was endgame stuff, but it's not. Glad I checked. I'm supposed to get off right there, but I don't know, man. I have like... This temporary OCD. Oh, is that one I'm supposed to get off? But I have, like this little OCD where I'm like, I just gotta complete everything. Well, not complete, but I should just be safe. But then again, you know, there are some RPGs where there's stuff on the ground. Anywho, if you hold circle, you can make the boat move faster. If you don't, there's your pace. All right, let's fight this boss. Right, we're here. Everyone on high alert. But before I go on, I want to make sure that... I should have done this before I left though, but... We're on number four, right? Okay, this is good. You, I want you to just heal. There we go. Squirrel! Don't touch! This is bird country! For hard-working, card-carrying, wing union members only, leave your flightless bourgeois. Though I usually seek solutions through peaceful means, I, General Left Wing, will destroy you if you don't leave. But I want to control the skies and the wind. All right, here we are fighting Death Ravens. And if you don't mind, Madam, magic lends them. Check out the skill. I love it. You can use it again and again for a maximum juggling. But I mostly like using it once to chain into this. Ow. I hate flying enemies. Ugh, get your ass down here, buddy. You forced me to spam it. I didn't do anything. That's uh, the other skill we got. I didn't even see you do that. Whatever. Using Gaul right now is not a good idea. Anyways, the level is 4 Spear Gauge. I never explained it, what it really does. But essentially, I should have done a Rejuvenate. Essentially, what it does is it just buffs you up. It makes you hit harder, no TP, you can't get hurt. That's how great it is. You know what? Cancel that and throw me a peach. No, not peach. That's too much. Throw me a pineapple. We got more fights after this. It's no surprise you took out the lefty picnic. But 
General White Wing is no chicken hawk. These guys, King Basilisk. Basilisk. Alright. I think you're gonna chase a single chase leak on that. Ow! Oh shit! You guys stone. Of course, you're Basilix. I don't even know what hit her. Man, that's such a long cast time. Barrel, please pick her up. Maybe it's because I was like level 60 or 70 when I fought them, but these guys are a lot easier. I mean, harder than I remember. Those feather brains are tough flockers, but they sure weren't your everyday birds. King of Birds! I bet he's even stronger than those generals we just fought. If you're scared, you can cower behind me. I ain't scared. Not by half. Besides, I haven't had a good chicken dinner in ages. <laughs> a snow hair. I like how they hype it up in RT. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's show you Kohaku's. Of course you guys are gonna push him. Um, am I crazy or is this King of Birds actually a rabbit? Well, I guess rabbits fly a little? Like, when they hop really high? And they taste like chicken. So, yeah. Aw, oh, come on, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Ah, uh, I never let you fly this dust take our paradise. K I'm sorry, King. You didn't come here to make trouble. But Creed is destroying the world bit by bit and eventually he'll make his way to you. We came here in a search of power to help us stop him. If it's power you seek, boy. You must use your Soma to destroy my Spiria. Only that can shatter the magical seal and give you the mastery over the winds and skies. Bah we have to destroy your Spiria? Come on, guys. We're leaving. I thought you saw power, boy. I thought you strove to vanquish evil. Not if it means destroying Asperia. That's the very thing we're fighting to stop. He's right. We seek to save the Asperia of all things, not just humans. Hold. Take this. It will aid you on your quest! We got the Phoenix Plume, a tail feather of the symbol of undying life billows like a dancing flame. Can you forgive us, oh Bird King, for disturbing your... Um, nest. It is said that all flame creatures are allies of the birds! And now that I see you can indeed fly, your spirits have wings that allow you to soar high. Thank you, King. Am I the only one who thinks this makes no damn sense at all? Alright, just left Marquis, uh, Southport or Port Town, whatever. Uh, it's pretty much where we last left off. 
after escaping Prince Su. Gotta go back inside here. Was that a Zeram? Get out of our base, you pesky monster! Ah! Bad luck, Zeram. You're going to have to take us on! So, three alarming gladiators. We've already fought these before inside King Zircon or Emperor Zircon's place. But yeah, it's not that bad. Whew, are you guys all okay? Er, uh, yeah, thanks. You guys are pretty tough, huh? It's dangerous to stay here. Better go back into town. Yeah, okay. Go on, fetch it. Quick. Hey! Did you find it? Yes, I've got it now. What are you doing? She forgot the badge I gave her. She was gonna cry, so I had to say she could go fetch it. It's, it's my... Oh no, here we go. Don't cry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah, I wanted to give you this. That coin! It's thanks to you for... It's to thank you for helping us before. This is my favorite coin in my collection. Wow. Thank you, that's awesome. Come on then, let's go back. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next place we need to be. Alright, just left Obis Westport. You know, the port near Goose Spa. To go to the beach near Goose Spa, because there's something nice there for us to grab. In fact, it's just another accessory attachment. Which, you know me, I like adding accessories at every random interval. Especially Ines'o, but... Now that I think about it though, I think this might be Ines's final costume that I'm, I beamed. I just kind of want to leave it with this one. I might take off the mask, but I really like this costume on her. Huh? Something stuck in here! What? What is this? Darn! I, I can't get it out! It's totally stuck fast. What are we going to do? We can't leave the poor thing like this. There's no other choice. We'll just have to use force. Huh? Kohaku? Yeah? Hey, where did it go? It's on top of your head. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so glad we managed to save you. News, Botkun! This adorable fellow loves nothing more than saving up his allowance for treats. And we're gonna give that to Miss Kohaku here right now. To compliment uh, her saving the News Botkun and Kor saving the, uh, the little bird, I forgot, the pole wiggle. Because they match and shit. Anywho, see you at Lion Park. Alright, in Lion Park, before I talk to Amethyst, gotta do the teacup ride some more. You know, for bonding. Ha ha ha! Man, is my heading spinning now. I like this spinning backdrop. It should make for some great sketching material. Um... Kor? Oh, um... Uh, uh, what, Kohaku? You were just staring off into space. No, I wasn't. No, well, maybe I was. Yeah. What's wrong? I guess things have just been a little crazy recently. Kind of zoned out there for a while. It's just nice being able to spend time with you. Now you're back to normal. You know, just us. You really did everything you could for me, didn't you? Thank you, Kor. 
It's so nice. Ah. <laughs> you really are tired, aren't you? Oh, Cor, that's my... Well, I suppose just for a while. What do you think you're doing to my sister, dude? Hisui, what? You're going to kill him? Calm down, Kohaku. I'm just looking out for you. Ugh, you're such an idiot, Hisui. <laughs> it's... It's a little embarrassing that being just the two of us, isn't it? Oh, sorry, I, I touched your hand. Core, do you think we could go a little faster? Alright, that's it for the teacups. Just the Ferris wheel with just Kohaku and we're done. いいよ。すごく綺麗だからさ。遠く。あ。すごい。あんなに遠くまで見えるなんて。止まっちゃったね。何かあったのかな。怖く。怖いならその俺の隣に来る。シングの。あいや、深い意味はないよ。一人で座るより二人の方が恐怖も薄れるかなって思って。ははは。ご、怖く？確かにこうしてる方が怖くないかも。<笑> シングのぬくもりが伝わってきて一人じゃないって思えるからかなぬぬくもりうんとってもあったかくてなんだか安心できるの俺も怖くがそばにいるだけで安心するよ 私と同じ気持ちなんだねうん長いねだ大丈夫ずっとこのままだったらどうしようって想像したら怖くなって怖く俺のために勇気を振り絞って観覧車に乗ってくれたんだ俺もその思いに応えないとシングあほら手をつなぐと怖くなくなるんだじいちゃんが俺が怖い夢を見て泣きそうになった時いつもこうしてくれたから <笑>ごめん俺となんて手繋ぎたくないよねうんいきなりだからびっくりしちゃってあんまり強く握らないでねあうんもちろんだよシングの手のひらを通して鼓動が伝わってくる<笑> 
とくんとくんってうんなんかすごく不思議な感じだね相馬リンクよりもドキドキするよそそうだね私もすごくドキドキしてるでも隣で座っている時よりももっともっと安心するさあみんなのところに戻ろうかシング今日はとっても楽しかったよまた一緒に乗ろうねそれと今まで待っててくれてありがとうもしかしてガラド乗りたかったのまあな。なんだそれなら行ってくれればよかったのに。今度乗りたくなったら行ってよ。俺たち下で待ってるから。おいおいさすがにこんなおっさんが一人でってのは厳しいぞそれに一人よりも誰かと乗った方が数倍楽しいしなそうだねじゃあガラドが乗りたい時は声をかけてよ俺一緒に乗るからさそうだコアクやベリルたちも誘うきっともっと楽しくなるよ<笑>そりゃいいぜあいつらがいたら盛り上がるだろうしなお噂をすればベリルと琥珀が手振ってやがる本当だおーいあいつらが生きてたらこんな感じだったのかねガラドあすまないちょいと干渉に浸っちまった忘れてくれ俺もさこんな風にじいちゃんと乗ってみたかったよ世界にこんな乗り物があるって知ってたら無理にでもじいちゃんを連れてきたんだけどな他の町には行っちゃいけないって言われてたからダメだったかもしれないけどさシングこの先何が起こるかわからねえだから後悔しないように前を向いて自分のスピリアに正直に生きろあっと悪い真面目な話し,しまったがそんな話するような場所じゃねえな今思いっきりこの時間を楽しもうぜどうもあいつといるとうっかり昔のことを思い出しまうな今日は楽しかったぜシングアンダツエンスファーズライツゴーブリーブミアチェックラスティングトゥドゥーズトゥトゥエムティスト so we can learn more about coral oh and this old dude here guess I didn't talk to him Oh boy. Fuck it, normal voice. Hey guys, you all fought in the Grand Prix, didn't you? Have you climbed High Tower yet? The true pinnacle of heroes? Ahaha,、uh, I figured he would have done. Were you surprised at how tall I was? Yes, it's really something, isn't it? It was only possible to achieve that height once special materials were dug up from the Age of Stones. And how do you think I know so much about the High Tower, eh? <laughs> You're from the Age of Stones. <laughs> you helped build it? Guilty as charged. You're looking at one of the original builders of the tower. 
toughest gig of my career was, and let me tell you, I had a very long career. But a true tradesman overcomes any and all problems. Now then, do you know who is a true hero? Haha, <laughs> that's the right answer. Now then, let's let everyone know with the hip hip hooray for the tradesman. Go on, shout it out. Yeah, tradesman rock, woo! That's the stuff, alright, you did your lungs proud. I kind of feel bad for not screaming it out now. But I'll let you on a secret, High Tower isn't my finest work. No, my finest work is... You young people with your saggy pants and ability to say what I was thinking! It's uncanny! A true hero is never satisfied to rest on his laurels. Ah, uh, I haven't reminisced like that in a long time. Please take this as a thanks for indulging in the silly old man. A chamomile. Haha, <laughs> keep your sights set high. Now! They don't do you any good when you go anywhere else. Oh ho! If it's it is my good friends! I knew those army fools weren't enough to keep the likes of you down. Those army fools almost killed us! Thanks to you. Apology upon apology, my lady. But alas, I needed money to keep my airship dream afloat as if it were. I could not permit my childhood friends and venture to go to waste, even if it meant forsaking fine people such as you. What childhood friend? Believe it or not, I had a friend once. But as a wee child, I was always going on about the possibility of flight. When she got older, she began to research the idea in earnest, and then, lo and behold, she invented the airship. Funny, seeing as how she never actually believed such a thing was possible. Her fool's errand, she used to call it. A fool's errand? Didn't Coral say that? Didn't she say exactly that? But alas, the brave inventress went missing on her very first test flight. And was never seen again. And thus, my desire to keep her dream alive no matter the cost. It was all for her. She didn't happen to be a real hot potato, did she? Big glasses. Kinda cold in the old personality department. That's her to a T! Not just smart, but a beauty such as every man would have sacrificed all to claim her as her own. Mika Zinwald was her name. Ah, uh, but how she completed me. Huh, that sounds a lot like Coral. I can see it in your faces that you know something. Come, tell your dear friend Amethyst with all haste. You have seen her, haven't you? When, where, and with who? I demand you tell me at once. Yikes. Calm down, Amethyst. I am sorry. Such outbursts are most ungentlemanly. But please, I beg of you. If you know something of my dear Mika, you must let slip your tongues. I realize that, for questing adventures such as yourself, such a thing may seem a trivial matter. But that woman was my world entire, and she remains such still. It's okay, I'd feel the same way if Kohaku went missing. She's working for the Marine Company over in Hanselar. We can take it to her if you want. Will somebody please explain to me why we're being so nice to the guy that sold us to the army? We're giving his enemies this is one of Kor's Charming's little quirks. And since we're all in this together... Yeah, yeah... I get it. Mika? It's... it's you! You're alive! Who is this rude man? Ah, I get it, I get it. Don't remember me. Not really, no. My name is Coral, not Mika. I am the Guildmaster's Marine Secretary. Whatever past you think you know me from, it's not of a consequence now. I owe my life to the Guildmaster. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to leave, sir. But... but Mika... I suppose we could use a Sparia Link to help her get her memory back? Just making a link wouldn't be enough. We'd have to show her something from the past to jog her memory. And I have just a thing, my lady. Behold, the perfect item to bring dear Mika's memories to the foray. 
creepy feelers. These giant antennae look weird, but they can detect midnight movements in the air. I have no idea why I said it like that. Yeah? What in places is that? This? Why, it's a pair of creepy feelers. Mika used to delight in all manner of slimy, slithery insects. And these feelers were the pride of her rather extensive collection. Please, you must bring them into her speedo for me. Figure she collects slimy junk. Birds of a feather duster and all that. You're weird. She's weird. Alright, we'll show them to her. Nice of the game to transport us here. Alright, Core, bring out those creepy feelers and see if they can help her recall anything. We have something for you, Coral. They're a gift from Amethyst. He said they would mean something to you. They mean he's disgusting? Yuck! What would I possibly want with those things? You see, I knew he was crazy. No one wants a giant bug's antenna, let alone two antwitans. Honestly, that man has been trying to give me weird creepy things since I was a small child. Yes, since I was a small- Wait, does that mean I know him? Huh, looks like the bug fitters might have worked. Remember anything, Coral? Mm, no, I don't remember anything. Please leave now. Oh no, we have to try again! That is not necessary. Just knowing Mika still draws breath is reward enough for me. But please, take this as a thanks for all your blood, sweat, and toil. On behalf of me. That's kinda out of character for Amethyst. What's the catch? It is a harsh world out there, Mika. But be brave and do not lose hope. And know that your dream of flight was no fool's errand. The only fool was I, forever doubting you. Are you going after him, Coral? Or is it Mika now? We had a bet. He said that if people ever managed to fly, he would marry me. I didn't really think it was possible. But I kept trying and kept trying and then one day I did it. Not that it matters. I don't really want to spend the rest of my days with a madman like that. Oh? Because I hear Mika Zinwald is a brilliant and passionate inventor. Which is a kind of madness on its own. Don't twist this around. <laughs> I lass. You're young. No reason to troll the waters. But you've got to land on the doorstep sometimes. Perhaps even that's how a madman, hmm? Enough. Stop discussing my personal life and attend to that huge stack of paperwork on your desk. Perhaps Amethyst isn't fighting such a losing battle after all. Still, I suppose what will be, will be. I think the game leaves them off at that. But anyway, with that said, I don't think you're watching this part of Let's Play Tales of Hearts are this is a fucking side quest that I'm tired because my voice is dying now. Back to Straga to save Shasta of the Knee. Well, actually, there's a little bit more skits in Straga, but I'll save that for the next part. Okay, thanks, bye.